Well, how you doing, everybody? Happy holidays. I finally have a chance to talk about Moana, the latest film from Disney Animation starring Auli'i Cravalho, I hope I'm saying that right, and Dwayne Johnson. Pretty sure I'm saying his name right. Moana is the daughter and heir to the chief of the small tropical island of Motunui, and her parents would very much like for her to realize that life on this island is just perfect, and you have everything you could ever possibly want, and won't you just focus on becoming the future chief one day and not venture out into the ocean because for God's sake it's dangerous out there! But as is the want of a Disney princess, she longs for something more and just can't resist the call of the ocean. Kind of like The Little Mermaid in reverse. One day, a terrible plague hits the island and starts destroying all of their crops, and it's a plague that may be magical in nature. And in order to stop this plague and save her people, Moana has no choice but to answer the call of the ocean and venture out beyond the reef in search of the great demigod Maui, who, according to legend, started this problem in the first place and is the only one who can fix it. And so the adventure begins with a brave little girl, a rather arrogant demigod, and a very confused rooster. So I actually saw this a while ago, but I haven't really had the chance to talk about it because I've had a cold that's been coming in and out for the last couple of weeks, and I wasn't really in any condition to record. If I had recorded a vlog, it would have been something like this. So, yeah, I went and saw Moana. <coughs> it was pretty good. <sighs> yeah, I don't think you want to see that. But now that I can finally speak properly again, I can talk about this damn movie. And this was a lot of fun, and I really liked it. It's a great story about this brave girl with a sense of adventure and a strong devotion to her people, and I really liked how the story did not always do the obvious thing. Like many Disney princesses that came before her, if princess is even the right word for Moana, she's kind of an anti-princess, really, which is even an argument that comes up in the film. Anyway, she has an animal sidekick at the start of the film. It's a cute little piglet, and there's also this really weird rooster hanging around who might be just a little bit touched in the head. And he's voiced by Alan Tudyk for some reason. And I don't mean the rooster talks, he just makes typical rooster noises. I didn't even know Alan Tudyk could do that, but he's quite good at it. And one would think the piglet would be the one to accompany Moana on her big journey of self-discovery, but when she actually leaves the island and sets out to find Maui, it's the rooster that ends up tagging along. And there's also... it's not really a twist, but there is a reveal at the end of the movie that I honestly did not see coming. I thought it was very cleverly done. And here's another surprise. Both parents survive. It's a Disney movie and the parents live. Someone else dies, because I guess someone has to fill the quota, but the parents live. I really liked the character Moana, I thought she was awesome, and I thought Cravalho did a great job of bringing her to life. This kid has got some talent. Damn good singer, too. And it's kind of scary just how much she looks like Moana, considering they designed the character before they cast her. One of my favorite bits with this character, there is this big speech that she comes up with for when she finally finds Maui. It's something like, I am Moana from the island of Motunui. You will board my boat, you will journey with me across the ocean, and you will return the heart of Tefiti. And she keeps rehearsing this speech over and over again, and it kind of reminded me of the Princess Bride in a way. So, I am Moana of the island of Motunui. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Dwayne The Rock Johnson was fantastic as the powerful but very self-absorbed demigod Maui, and they could not have cast a better person to play this character. <laughs> they really could not, and I was happy to see they worked in the people's eyebrow. That was a nice touch. Disney's animation department continues to impress, especially with the stuff that they were able to do with water in this movie. It just looks amazing. And it was kind of neat how they managed to work in some hand-drawn animation along with the CGI. Maui's tattoos, hand-drawn. And they look great. The music was put together by Lin-Manuel Miranda, Opetaya Foa'i, again, I hope I'm saying that right, and Mark Mancina, and they did a fantastic job. The songs are very well done. I especially liked Your Welcome, which is Maui's big Look How Awesome I Am song, and I could definitely hear Lin-Manuel's influence in that one. 
And yeah, I think that's about all I have to say, really. I'm sure I haven't said anything that a million other people haven't already said before about this movie, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. If you haven't seen it already, I highly recommend checking it out. It's well worth your money. And that about wraps it up for Moana, so until next time, take care.